up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually won our very first badge right here in the Sinnoh region. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right here. You know, trainer card and all that stuff. Press the Y button, and what do we get? Bam! The coal badge. Not that good looking, but it's still something right there. So, that right there enables us to actually use the Rock Smash technique, and, uh, well, what else? Oh, yeah! Uh, I'm going to be going to the PC right now because uh, there is no need for these uh, Pokemon that I have on my team now. Now that I've won uh, the first badge. So, let's see. Actually, there's only one Pokemon that I kind of need to take out, and that is Muscles. Thought I was going to be using him for backup, but nah, he just turned out to be someone that, you know, is just getting buff and all that stuff. But later along the way, we're going to, you know, grow his level and all that stuff. And, well, that leaves a slot open for a Pokemon right here. Now, let's see. I wonder what happens, uh, let's see, they still haven't put that, uh, the R button yet. Okay, so let's move on right here, guys, we've already killed our, our Pokemon. And, well, here we are, Orberg City, and we're gonna be going back to the cave right here, because now that we, uh, now that we won our first badge, we are enabled to actually use our, uh, Rock Smash technique. Now, before anything, good gravy, this guy, Barry, why you be so annoying? Whoops! Draven, you got a gym badge, huh? Eternity City is next place that uh, with a gym badge that gives away a badge, is it right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team uh, battle uh, battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to the Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eternity City uh, gym badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got the who who got the time to count? Oh wow. This guy right here is uh he's got a little too much sugar in his system. That's kinda that's kinda what I'm saying right now. Too much sugar in the system. Uh, let's just get the heck out of here, okay? Alright, so we're gonna go back into the Orberg mine, right? Or no, Orberg Gate. And now, as you can see, we can actually rock smash right here. And <laughs> look at this. We don't even have a Bidoof on our team, and yeah. They are literally using Bidoof for everything. Like all the TMs, HMs, and they can know. And uh, well, as you can see, we, we're just smashing it away. Look at that! Look at that! Okay, you see, you see how easy that was without trying to pick or dictate your team. Now that we, now that we can do uh, the rock smash right here, we can actually go through this area right here and just find some of this extra stuff. I know that there's an area right there where we can actually, like, we're actually going to be needing our bike. So let's go right ahead and just uh, take a look, see, see what it's all about. Grab a few items here and there like that one and uh, yeah, be on our merry way to Eterna or yeah, Eterna City. All right, let's rock smash this right here and uh, Well, look at this. We are running away and grabbing this and yes, we got ourselves the TM70 flash and uh, Yeah, we can actually buy flash. So it's it's no biggie right here guys and well, would you look at that? Look who's come crawling back. Oh, yes, it's Zubat now I've been meaning to capture one of these suckers. Let's go right ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, use a rock smash. Hopefully it won't faint or anything like that. And that right there, yeah, it's not so effective, but it lowers its, H or its the, uh, defense, which is all good. Great. Okay. Now, we could have used this guy for, you know, the absorb technique, but the only problem is that, yeah, like, <laughs> it's still a flying type. Rock type, still a flying type. Rock types get to it real quickly so let's go straight for a mod punch right here and that one takes a nice chunk and uh, astonishes on its way like why don't you turn it around and give me an astonish right there okay so it looks like it's weak enough so let's go ahead and throw a dust ball since we are inside a cave and it's nighttime too the cave doesn't know if it's nighttime or anything there we go two three and yes sir look at that okay so ladies and gentlemen, we have caught ourselves another Pokemon, eh, you know, a Pokemon that we've had for quite some time, and yes, it is Zubat, the bad Pokemon. It's both poison and flying. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic wave it emits, it emits from its mouth. We already know what the uh, nickname this guy's going to be, so say hello again to Toxic Batman. Now... It's a real easy Pokemon to actually evolve, but it's also a very, very useful Pokemon uh, to uh, to have on your team right now, especially since you're going to be going to Eterna. 
So let's go ahead and just give it its nickname, Toxic Batman. Look at that. And then maybe just maybe we can evolve it like right away and stuff because you know my Pokemon Pearl game, I actually uh, I actually evolved it like back to back levels like I did previously. So let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Toxic Batman. As you can see, it's both flying and poison, and it's pretty gentle by nature. And well, let's see, we are at the yeah okay. Loves his bitter food. It's very good of a, a, at special defense, but its defense is just bad. Uh, the ability is inner focus. The Pokemon's intensely focused, and that protects the Pokemon from flinching. So, yeah, no more flinchy attacks right here. So, uh, let's see. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and give a potion to Toxic Batman just for this situation. And, well, let us... Let us move on right here. Now, there are going to be areas right here where we need a bike. So, there we go. Look at that. There's a bicyclist. And, bam. Okay. So, now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, do you see those slanted rocks on the ground? It feels awesome taking those paths uh, on the bike. Well, we don't really have a bike, so we're going to have to wait on that for a while. And here we found ourselves a bag of Stardust. So, that will actually come... Uh, that will be useful for when we have to, like... Actually, sell some stuff, and well, let's see. There we go, and we are going to get attacked by another Pokemon, and that happens to be a, a Geodude. Okay, okay, Geodude, you are looking uh, pretty bouldery and all that crud. So let's just uh, go with the run and get the heck out of here. Yeah, I completely forgot about like uh, switching out Pokemon or switching out during uh, the wild Pokemon battles and all that stuff. So that's going to happen after this, guys. So let's see. I'm gonna use a rock smash right here. And bam, okay. So so far we haven't gotten attacked by a Pokemon that, you know, that you know has appeared during the rock smash. So that's one thing. Alright, so here we are in Route 203. We're gonna take the shortcut because we do not like getting attacked by wild Pokemon right here. And well, we are lucky right now. Look at that, we're running, we're running, and, uh, well, let's see, before anything, I kind of want to check something right here. Okay, so now that we've won a gym badge, I think we are enabled to actually buy a little bit more Pokeballs and stuff. So, let's see, here to buy, and, well, still with the heal ball, but we are able to buy Super Potion, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy five of those little suckers, that way, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't, or yeah, we don't get uh, into any kind of situation. And then, you know what? Awakenings are always good to have. Four of those, and well, let's see, burn heals too, because yeah, you may never know, guys. You may never know. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here, and well, let's go straight up to the next area right here, and uh, well, would you look at that? Professor Rowan and the girlfriend is here. Ah, Draven, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling out utter nonsense that I can't stomach. Shut up some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as a businessman. All you must do is to provide us all your information, your research findings. In return, we'll see that we'll see to it that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Draven, let let's battle together and uh, teach these losers a lesson. Oh wow, changing the voices and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. A double battle. Very first double battle that we're having right here against Team Galactic. So let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, do this right here. So they're going to have both a Wurmple and a Zubat. Well, me and the girlfriend are going to have our starter Pokemon. Look at that. Monfertomon looking like a... Mm, he's looking like... Ah, uh, yes. He's looking like he can whoop some ass in a Taekwondo or a... a con or no, 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 a Muay Thai kind of a, a situation right there. And would you look at that. The Wurmple has been fainted. And Pokemon are growing levels as always. And here comes Zubat. Using his Astonish attack. So that's really not going to do much. So, yeah. <laughs> but here comes the Bite attack from Turtwig. And, well, let's go for another Amber attack right here. I'm hitting nothing. Now, I understand that I do have three fighting type attacks over one fi fire attack. That will obviously change in, uh, in in later episodes right here guys I just you know didn't know that I was gonna learn so many fighting type moves in one in one uh, setting right there okay so we have defeated Team Galactic and he's like you leave us no option we will retreat for now because Team Galactic is a benevolent to all we shall leave hmm 
So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Draven, well done. You, uh, you battle quite capably. Seeing you trainers uh, battle side by side with your Pokemon makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Draven, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means that some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So, Draven, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Oh, oh okay, alright. Alright, okay. And uh, this person right here is looking at us like, whoa! That was a. Th that was that. Or what was that just now? That was amazing! Those guys looked awfully scary, but you sure showed them! Whew! That was like a, a, fre a breath of fresh air right there. Anyways, my name is Beeb, and I work uh, as a system administrator in a heart home, uh, heart home city east of here. Now, as a thanks for putting a, on a, such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules to you. And look at that, we get ball capsules, the ball capsules option right here. Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. You can customize your own capsule decoration by placing stickers on the ball capsules. Put stickers on your favorite Pokemon, the po favorite Pokemon's Pokeball capsule, and it'll look really pretty when it bursts open. Huh. Stickers will also give you an edge in the Super Contest show where I live in Heart Home City, so try to collect a bunch. Anyways, see you later. Okay, alright, okay. Alrighty, so this is what she's talking about. As you can see, guys, we got ourselves the ball capsules option, or capsules option right here, where you can actually decorate the Pokeball right here. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let's go right here. And we're going to put a, we're going to select the Pokemon. So let's go with Monfernomon right here. So let's put them right there. And let's go ahead and place a sticker right here, okay? So let's, let's see, what kind of stickers do I have? Preview. Uh, okay, I don't know how to do this, okay. But you can put up to six Pokeballs right here. Now, hold on just a sec. Uh, oh. Oh, I see, I see, okay. Uh, let's see. A ribbon sticker. Uh, let's see, heart stickers. What about this one right here? Ah, stone stickers. Mysterious magnetic fields that have rock pieces. This sticker releases small wreck rock fragments and all that stuff. This is, a. Uh, Gold magnet. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. So, blue flame. Oh, let's go with the blue flame. Okay. So, let's put it right here, right here, and right here. Okay. Uh, now if you press the Y button, you can actually see the 3D mode. And look at that. Look at that. Okay. So there's the Pokeball in a 3D right there. Now let's go straight back to. Well, that's pretty much it right there. Or actually, I think I've already. Oh. Huh. Okay, so I didn't really use them. Let's go with this one right here, right here, and right here. Okay. And I guess we're going to return back to the list and go back. Okay. Actually, go back. Okay, so there we go, guys. We got three stickers onto the Pokeball. So now, when we battle against uh, anybody with Monfernomon or um, Infernomon, then, you know, you guys are going to see that, you know, it's going to be decorated and all that crap. Now, the second thing that the, the uh, that Beeb actually gave us was the option to actually switch out our Pokemon from uh, its boxes. Now, you got to do is just press the R button, just like in Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, and bam, you can actually switch on the fly. Now, the only places that you can't switch is in uh, the Pokemon Gyms or in the Elite Four. Um, that's a fair advantage right there. Very, very fair advantage. So, let's see. I don't want to switch out any Pokemon right now. I really don't because... Uh, well, I, I, you know, I, like I said, I kind of want to just, like, explore just a little bit. So, here we are in Route 204, and, well, this is the area where we actually caught our, uh, our Rosemon right here. So, let's go ahead and, uh, battle this, uh, this lady right here. Oh, wait, wait, look, trainer. Do you want to have a go? Man. No respect. No respect for the future champ. So, here we go. We're taking on the last. Her name is Sarah, and she's coming out with our Lord and Savior, Bidu. Now, take a look at our Pokemon graphic right here. Bam! Red or blue flames right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do a mock punch. This person has no idea what's coming, and there it is. Weak looking Pokemon, weak looking Pokemon doing good. Yeah, buddy, okay. 
And, well, Sarah's just like, oh, I shouldn't have battled in the first place. Nope, shouldn't have. Okay, all right. So what now? We defeated her. Now, I see an item right there. Let's go right ahead and grab that item. Now, this is the area where I actually caught uh, Rosemont. And look at that. We get ourselves a paralysis heal, which is good. And, and yes, we're going to be finding some interesting Pokemon right there. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Now, you, there's a nice fishing hole right here where you can actually find some interesting Pokemon. And, well, there's something else right here, but we need the Surf Technique. Now, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon just a bit. Let's go ahead and swap out somebody right here. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and put Electro Star in this. And let's see what this individual has to say. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're going to be a win for me. Yeah, don't say. Let's go. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Youngster Tyler wants the battle, and he will be coming out with his Magikarp. Okay, all right in. Come on, Electrostar. You can do it. Should be an easy battle, I guess. Uh, you know, we got a magic up of our own, but we're doing the uh, logical thing and actually training him uh, while we're switching out or something because he experienced all. So there we go. Thundershock for the win. Say goodbye. Okay, alrighty. And Rosemont grows to level 12. And Tyler was going to be uh, coming out with a Starly, so we're going to stay put right here. Alrighty. Starly, how you doing? Looking pretty good, but you know what? Here's a Thundershock. And, well, we got hit first, but here's Thundershock. And Starly is no more right here. Okay, I love winning. I really do. I love winning. Kicking your ass. Oh, yes. And Youngster Tyler has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. There we go. Okay, so we have defeated two trainers, and we got one more right here, I think, too. So let's go ahead and battle her. May I please trouble you for a battle? Man, when was the last time you've ever heard somebody say, May I please trouble you for anything? Okay, so here we go. Take it on last Samantha, and she is ready to go. And, well, I picked the wrong Pokemon for this situation right here. So chances are we're probably going to get... Uh, Paralyzed, or you know, we're gonna get affected in some kind of way. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for a Monfernamon. Probably gonna call him that Monfernamon instead of Infernamon. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool name. I don't know. And well, here comes an Absorb Attack. Now I was actually thinking it was gonna do like some kind of uh, Sleep Powder or something like that. So we're actually lucky right here. So here we go, Amber Attack for the win. And there we go. That doesn't feel so good now, huh? No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have defeated last Samantha. And she doesn't look so happy. She's like, oh, you're so strong. Yes, we are. Very strong. Boof. We're like boof. B-O-O-F. Boof. And there are boulders blocking the way inside the cavern. I think a hidden move in the, the Pokétech would be able to break those boulders, though. Okay, you don't say. Now, I kind of feel like these, this extra space right here is like, you know, you can actually find something, but never mind. Okay, so here we are, guys, in the Ravage Path. And first is first, grab this little item. Yes, we will be finding an antidote. Now, you can't find an interesting Pokemon here, Psyduck. And what else? Well, obviously, you know, Zubats, uh, Zubats and Geodudes and stuff. So, if you guys haven't caught those in the, the other cave, you know, this is the way to go. I am just breaking these boulders because I can. And here we found ourselves TM39 Rock Tomb. Pretty nice move for your rock type Pokemon or any Pokemon capable of using this move. And, yes, nothing. Okay, like I was saying, yes, you can find a lot of stuff right here. But we're just going to use a boulder or a rock smash just to get the heck out of here because, yes, we're not going to be finding anything else. So here we are outside, and we are back at Route 204, and we're going to be finding some new trainers right here. Are you raising different kinds of Pokemon? If you only have one type of Pokemon, you'll have a hard time against Type C this week, too. Which is true. Which, you know, brings up the question, and like, I get the gym leaders are like one type Pokemon with the exception of uh, Blue. But it's like, you know, it would be nice to have like dual types and all that stuff, which they do. It's just that, you know... The majority of them, it's just one, it's singular and all that crud. So, 
we'll get back into that like conversation later on. So let's go ahead and swap out Pokemon right here, and let's go ahead and battle some Pokemon trainers. Alrighty, so what's up? How's it going? Here we have Aroma Lady. What's her name again? Tealer? Tealer? It's a weird name, but yeah, you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. Okay, so we got Infernomon ready to go. And let's go straight for an Amber Attack right here. Yeah! Amber Attack does the trick. Say goodbye to uh, Little Badoo. Since we already have a Badoo. And, well, look at that. Toxic Batman finally grows a level right here. And, well, she's about to come out with a Cherubi. Uh, yeah. Good old Toxic Batman does not have the move that I need. So, let's just continue on right here with Monfernomon and go straight for the Ember Attack. And just like that, Cherubi defeated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So, more experience points. Monfernomon grows to level 16 and he wants to learn Fury Swipes. So let's go ahead and replace something right here, okay? Now, I get it, it's a weaker attack, but it could prove useful. Let's go ahead and take away that Rock Smash technique. And bam, okay, so now we're getting a little bit more of a, a diverse move set. Just a little bit. All right, so she's not happy. Even though I lost, I'm not angry because it smells so nice. Oh, lady, I kind of farted a little, so it's, yeah. Anywho, let's go ahead and grab this, and yes, we got ourselves an Awakening. Pretty good, pretty awesome, pretty fantastic. And, well, we have, I think, a Bug Catcher, and he catches us. Say, what's your opinion on Bug Pokemon? Oh, they're easy to evolve, I think. Very easy. Okay, so here we go. Let's get it. Cricketot, the Wormful, or uh, is it the Wormful, or is it the, is it the Caterpie of... Of Sinnoh. I kind of want to know. What's you guys' opinion? So let's go straight for the Ember Attack. And just like that, Cricketot is no more. I'm feeling happy about that one right there, too. Okay, so that's that. And, well, he's about to come out with a Whirlpool. So let's just continue on right here. Now, the majority of these Pokemon are easy for, for a good old buddy Infernomon. So, just like, uh, you know, the other Pokemon just have to sit back and just grow, 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 and all that crud until, like, they come out of their Pokeball finally and realize that, wow, that we used to be this. And just like that, we have defeated Bugcatcher Brandon, and he is not happy. Not so happy. Okay, so... I see a double battle, and I kind of want to use different Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for Electro Star and and Rosemont. Now, this might be a little risky, but we'll have to find out. So, apparently they're the uh, strongest in their class. Okay. All right. Here we go. Challenged by Twins Liv and Liz. And uh, they will be coming out with Pachirisus. Oh, crud. So, I think I chose correctly in some ways. Okay. All righty. All righty. Okay. So, there's the Intimidate. We got the Squirrel equivalent of a Pikachu right here. Well, let's see. Let's go with the bite attack onto you. Let's go with an observe with you. So let's just gang up on one person. And yes, we're going to get it attacked. Rosemont's going to get attacked first. And well, wow, they're just picking on Rosemont right now. What the heck? All right, here we go. Bite attack. And here we go. Absorb. Okay, say, say thank you to the HP. And we only got two. What the heck? Come on. All right, let's do it again. Bite. Absorb. Maybe at this point I should just do like a, I should just do like a, whatchamacallit, a growth. Because Rosemont's getting his butt kicked. Okay, so here we go, fight attack. And the absorb attack for the win. Yes, sir, okay. Alrighty, 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 okay. So there we go, that's one down, and we got another one to go. And Rosemont grows to level 13, which is great. And, well, let's go ahead and continue with the Onslaught right here. Let's go ahead and just uh, do the same thing as always. All right, here we go. Quick attack. That's not going to work. Here we go. Fight attack. Come on. Absorb attack. Okay, so that's some, that's some, nice, uh, that's some nice HP right there. And it's only taking two HP. What the heck, man? Oh, God. Okay, so let's go again. See how this works. Electro Star getting hit. So here we go, Absorb Attack, and we get 2 HP as always, right? Yeah, 2 HP, holy crud, okay, so Bite Attack, 
And there we go. Hatchirisu has been defeated. Okay, and look at this. Most of my Pokemon grow levels, which is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. Ultra Psycho is looking pretty cool. Toxic Batman is looking somewhat good. And look at this. We got a mean look. And just like that, Live and Liz have been defeated using different kinds of Pokemon. You know, some good stuff right there. Okay. Alrighty. What is going on? Huh. You don't say. So, I actually thought that this Pokemon was going to evolve at level 20, but we were mistaken. So, here we are, guys. Electro Star is evolving. Okay. All right. So, this is what? Our second episode in a row where we're actually having an evolution? Pretty damn good. Pretty awesome. And everybody, uh, say hello to our newest Pokemon, Luxio. All right, all right, okay, okay. Luxio's status has been added to the Pokedex, and as you can see right here, Luxio is the Spark Pokemon. Two feet 11, 70, or 67 pounds of pure shocky, you know, whatever. Its claws lose the electricity with enough amperage to cause opponents to faint. It lives in small groups. Wow, that was a pretty nice, pretty nice description, I guess. I don't know. But here we are, Lucio, and, well, it's pretty much the same thing, but we've come a long way with this Pokemon right here, too. So this is our second Pokemon that's actually evolved. Hopefully we get some more right there. And, well, let's see, there is an item right here on the, the corner, if I could only walk. Okay. And there we go, we got ourselves the TM09, which is Bullet Seed. So I already know who I'm going to give that to. And, well, let's get the heck out of here. Well, like I said, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Florama Town. And, well, we're going to stop our episode right here, okay? Um, in the next episode, it's going to be quite interesting to be to be quite honest, because uh, there's going to be a few things that you guys are going to find out. Things that have been added. Things that, you know, you guys are going to be so happy about. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for subscribing and all that. I will see you guys next time.